OZO, Self-Sufficient Data Systems. Frank Bertram, member of Green IT, has an ambition. To realize the first energy self-sufficient data center in the Amsterdam metropolitan area in 2015. For this, we needed to bring three disciplines together, and we needed to work together towards this unique goal. IT, Energy, Design. These three disciplines have taken the plunge and are working together, but they need a clear roadmap. The ultimate goal, to sign a service level agreement in 2015. But before we can do this, we need to create some new product market combinations with products that don't yet exist. So we need to make some prototypes first. Before we can do that, we need some new concepts. And this will demand considerable effort and investment. OZO is looking for parties who share in this unique ambition and who can provide commitment, expertise and financial resources. We already have financial backing from the municipalities of Amsterdam and Almere. They have enabled us to take the initial steps, bringing together the right expertise, developing the concepts and creating 3D and scale models. Experts from all the necessary disciplines met at various round table meetings. The following themes were put forward. Data classification, based on smart metadata. Data storage, differentiated storage based on the data classification. Routing and processing. Use grids to subdivide the data centers into separate nodes. Facilities. Analyze best practices in comprehensive building design and cooling. Integrative architecture. New concepts through innovative joint ventures between architects of physical and virtual environments. Feedback. Feedback and validation of interim results. One planet architecture. Translating concepts into practice with a sustainable attitude towards our planet. The results from the expert meetings three types of data. Hot data, data that is accessed and modified daily. Cold data, data that is still accessed but almost never modified. Frozen data, data that is hardly ever accessed and never modified. Research has shown that more than 80% of all data is frozen data. Why is this significant? Because hot Cold and frozen data require different types of equipment, each with a specific energy profile. A great deal of energy for hot data, much less energy for cold data, and almost no energy for frozen data. This equipment is nearly always in standby mode. And what's more, the different types of equipment each have their own ideal solutions for cooling and recycling heat. Direct water cooling for the active equipment for hot data rack cooling for cold data, active cooling for the outer layer of the building for frozen data. So, hot, cold and frozen data can best be stored in many different nodes in grid form. In fact, the current configuration of data centers is also a grid. The existing interfaces and routing technology entail that grids can be made containing hot, cold and frozen data nodes. The system will work best if we also bear in mind grids for decentralized energy supply and grids for exchanging heat. The architects at Rao set to work. Their specialization is transforming natural principles into the built environment. They were inspired by the world of bees. Each swarm of bees is a creature in itself, a creature that consists of individual elements that communicate with each other, just like nodes in a grid. What does this mean for design? Firstly, ideal form and minimal materials. Secondly, an ideal configuration with guaranteed communication. Thirdly, on-demand climate control. A new concept has been born, and we call it OZO. This is all about segmenting hot, cold and frozen data. And at the same time, making use of the sustainable energy sources present in the immediate surroundings – sun, wind and biomass. There will be new nodes for hot data close to the user, for example, running on 12-volt direct current 
generated by solar energy. Electricity distribution centers in the residential districts are the ideal place for hot data nodes. In a small country such as the Netherlands, we already have 100,000 of them. What's more, the existing infrastructure will be used smartly for electricity and data. Heat recovered will be reused in the immediate surroundings. Nodes for cold data could be located between Amsterdam Eiburg and Almere. These will be self-supporting by using wind energy. The data racks will be installed in a location that is otherwise unused, a bridge for example. Several large nodes for mass storage of frozen data will be located in an open area. These will be self-supporting by using biomass. Just think of elephant grass. The building will have a thick outer insulating layer. In the insides of this shell, water will flow to cool the equipment. Heat and cold will be stored underground and reused wherever possible. What will the system in the Amsterdam metropolitan area look like? There will be a large number of hot data nodes in the residential neighborhoods. Several nodes for cold data will be located in windy areas, ideally linked together in ribbon formation. One or more large nodes for mass storage of frozen data will be located in open areas. The energy supply to these nodes will come from sustainable energy sources already located nearby. Energy generated from the sun, wind and biomass. By connecting these nodes in the Amsterdam metropolitan area, we will create an energy self-sufficient data center. The first realization of the unique OZO concept. OZO self-sufficient data systems. The new view on data center efficiency.